We need to talk about Fuji's 7.0 firmware, whether you should upgrade or not. I did, and I swear it works better than it did before. Let me show you. So today I have the DJI Pocket 3 on with the mic, the Bluetooth mic that comes with the um, kit, for the Creative Combo kit. And it, uh, it got windy out here. So this is a fantastic test as I talk to you guys with the little dead cat on here. It doesn't really help with the wind. Like it's got guts, you know, like it's, it's coming, man. So um, anyway, recently, recently, my last few jobs, I have, loved the quality of my images coming out of my X-H2S and the X-T4, honestly. The way I usually photograph with two cameras on me is that my X-T4 has the uh, Viltrox 75mm 1.4. So that's like my zoom camera, my zoom lens, right? My little go-to sniper shot lens. My X-H2S has my 24-70 to on, you know, the 55 to 16-55, to 2.8. Um, I like how the images are looking, and I even did a test with three high school seniors walking across the street together, like they were holding hands, and I said, y'all come to me, and I put that focusing on continuous, and I did use the single box, a little bigger, but I did have it on the continuous focused, and I squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go, you know? Um, I was actually very impressed on how many were sharp. Are you Sony shooters telling me that when you squeeze, they're always sharp? And I don't mean, you know, user error, too slow of a shutter or you move, I get it, that's gonna be blurry. What I mean is, is the camera doing its job to, like it won't take a picture unless something is in focus. You know what I mean? That is something I'm noticing Fuji doesn't do. It'll let me take pictures even though something's not even focused. Like these images right here. I'm so confused. She was three feet in front of me. Like literally, I'm just, you know, di -di 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 -dow, di -di -di -dow, you know, she's laughing and I love natural real expressions. And it just kind of blew me away that I trusted that since we're three feet away and I go squeeze, they're good. Now luckily I did get the sharp shot that I needed, but my point is, I have quite a few times, like on a long day's event, like a wedding or something, where um, I swore I got the shot and then I have a picture, it's just not in focus. Now, something in the background being in focus, that might have been user error, according to me. You know, I, you really gotta pay attention to where your focusing box is. And that's what I'm talking about as far as which camera should I use for the kinds of events that I do. Things are moving. That doesn't mean they're moving fast. They're just moving. I'm moving too, but you know, I love it. You know, back in the day, my Canon 5D Mark III, I believe, um, that thing didn't take a picture unless something was in focus. You know what I mean? So if I had the box, the focusing box in the wrong spot, and I'm thinking I'm focusing dead center, but it was my fault that the focusing box was to the right, so Uncle Fred in the background was in focus, but the bride and groom wasn't. That was my fault. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is here's the box. It's on the person. When I go squeeze, why is Fuji letting me take pictures if it's not in focus? I don't know that part. Like that seems like a, an easy fix on a firmware update, if you ask me. So that's what I'm talking about, you know? However, I do love my Fuji RAW files, okay? I am not a film simulation JPEG shooter. I'm not. Um, the kind of work that I do across the board, whether it's portraits or events or architecture or, you know, food, like whatever it is, I need that control for my RAWs. I need that, well, all, all of the control, all the sliders. <laughs> I need to be able to get to them. And I love the live view 
on the camera. I like seeing my exposure on the back of the screen before I take the picture. That is how I am an all manual photographer all the time because I'm seeing on the back of that screen exactly what I'm gonna get when I go squeeze. So the raw file for me is more of the, um, the, the final image that I wanna show you. What was my thought process when I took this picture? You know, some things look better with less contrast rather than more. So instead of having like a baked in simulation on all the JPEGs and you can't alter it after that, that's great for family vacation or something, but not for the kind of work that I do, you know? So look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up here just so y'all can see distance. Well, hear distance actually with this mic. You hear, can y'all hear those crunchies? That's down here. All right, is this thing gonna follow me? Yeah, it is. Look at that, DJI's following capability is pretty amazing. You gonna, you gonna get me? How far does that thing turn to the, that way? Wow. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that, look at that. Wow, that's incredible. So look, all the really cool AI technology that we're starting to get in these cameras from the Sonys to the whatevers, our future, um, I know it's gonna get better. Like it's gonna get easier for me to get these kind of shots. You know, I can't wait actually to where I can be as quick as I am on the job. And I like to bounce around and jump around and dance with the bride and groom. And you know what I mean? It's like, I'm a, I'm a movable thing here, <laughs> you know? So the camera, I am so used to back in the film days that you have to stop and squeeze. So even when you're moving, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Like I can't be moving and squeezing. Like I know that, you know? But when somebody's three feet in front of me and I'm just holding down the button, that's what I'm talking about, about Fuji's autofocus, okay? Um, and look, truth be told, 98% of the time, my shots are great. I'm just talking about the ones that I'm missing, the few, the very few, you know? The very few that I'm missing, the why I'm missing these shots is what I need Fuji to fix. Um, I don't plan on leaving the Fuji ecosystem by any means. But however, I am all about having the correct tool in the bag for the job. So if that means a Sony camera with a 24 to 70 lens on it, and that's all I need as my running gun event, you know, everything camera, then fine. But I don't want to. And that's why I'm so confused with Fuji's management right now. I am a firm believer that any business, no matter how big you are, I don't care if you're Disney World, dude, every business can go out of business with the wrong leadership and lack of customer service. As awesome as Disney is, if it did anything politically, if it didn't take care of its people, if the experience that you grew up with changed, less people would go to Disney. And something as Disney as big as they are, they need that big income to support as big as they are. You know what I'm saying? So if they had a 50% reduction in like a three year in a row time, they would be hurting. Like they would be hurting. So Fuji's kind of the same thing, you know? Take care of your people, man. We have a thousand videos on YouTube right now asking you to please fix this thing that we're all dealing with that we kind of didn't before some firmwares came out, which by the way, my firmware on my X-H2S is 7.0. Um, the firmware before it is when I had problems. When I bought the camera, it was fine. For whatever reason, I updated the firmware. I have no idea. I, I, I don't know. I have, no, I, I have no idea what bug it was fixing. I really don't, but I updated and then I had issues. That got me so angry, actually. So angry. Two reasons. First of all, angry for me. Why to update when I didn't really have to? And two, I'm angry at Fuji because we're trusting you as a company with your own equipment that you're taking care of us and the quality. You need us to keep creating amazing imagery with your product so we tell the world to go buy your stuff. Okay? Let's take the camera out of it. 
you're a business, dude. You need us to talk good about you. So I am very confused on why management isn't moving faster right now. You know what I mean? Uh, anyway, that's my small rant. Let me change locations. Okay, so look, I've had some recent sessions that I come home, I put the images, the raw files in the Capture One, I'm looking at them and they're beautiful, man. They're beautiful. And me slowing down and paying attention to what am I doing as far as am I moving when I'm shooting? You know, like really just do your job and get the shot, man. They're, they're gorgeous. I just wanted to show you a handful of images from, a, from this recent session. We went downtown and these are friends of mine, beautiful family. They're moving to New Zealand soon and they wanted to do a family session downtown and uh, just get some, you know, fun, random images with the family, let the kids be who they are and just get the city for what it is because there's something about New Orleans that we have that just does not exist anywhere else in the country. And it, had, it has everything to do with our melting pot of culture, of how we got from when the French were here, the Germans did the cobblestone roads. It's like, there's so much history here and it's, you can see it in the architecture. And, you know, it, it, there's so many colors and textures of downtown. It looks great in your portraits. It just does. Whether you're doing street photography or you have a family, it looks great, you know, that's why I love my city. Um, there are some political things that need to get fixed, but every city has that, I'm sure. But I have a, uh, a gift, honestly, every time I go downtown. When I work as a photographer, um, I have so many options, like so many options. And the, the fun thing for me is knowing the times of the day where the sun looks the best where to be, like I know those things. This is my town, dude. I know so many spots at the right time of day and that's when I schedule my sessions. So having a beautiful family like this that's willing to have fun and we had a beautiful day. It was, you can see the, the weather. It was, it was just amazing. All the things lined up. So look, I would like to know, are you experiencing the same issues with your Fuji camera when you work? Are you squeezing the shutter? and taking pictures, but they're not in focus. And you know it's not you, you know it's not usability errors. Like you know, like I had that person three feet away, come on. Like those kind of instances, are you noticing Fuji letting you take pictures even though they're not sharp? And look, if somebody knows a setting I don't have turned on in the menu system, please tell me in the comments. I will go do that immediately. But I missed that from my Canon days. You know, I used to remember holding that button down and a damn thing wouldn't take a picture. And I used to tell the guy that was working with me, uh, he, and he was in the business way longer than me. And uh, he says, dude, that's a good thing. I said, what do you mean it's a good thing? He's like, no, man, it's not gonna take a picture unless it's in focus. Something's in focus. I'm like, really? So that was kind of cool. So I had that peace of mind with Canon back in the day that when it was taking pictures, I knew something was sharp. I just had to make sure that the focusing dot was where it was supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? So let me know in the comments if you're experiencing this. And um, I really honestly look forward to Fuji kicking some royal butt, like soon, like before Christmas, okay? This is middle of October. Before Christmas, going into 2025, I want Fuji to come out swinging, you know? we don't. New cameras would, would be beautiful, but nobody's going to buy them unless you fix the current issue. We love our cameras. We do. They're hard to part with. I love working with my X-T4 and that silver body. It's such a conversational starter, you know? But I love my Fuji cameras. I don't want to move. I don't plan on moving. But I do need you, Fuji, to come out swinging hard, all right? Prove to them that the little guy does win. More often than not, actually. You gotta be patient. I'm patient, Fuji. For a little while. <laughs> See y'all later, guys.